Welcome to the project demonstration of RF based location based vehicle speed controlling system. So here we are going to uh, controlling the vehicle speed. So now for uh, presentation purpose we are making use of electrical vehicle in real time. This can be implemented in any vehicle the two wheeler or four wheeler by controlling the speed of the particular vehicle whenever it entered into a particular zone. Nothing but here we are using of RF transmitter. So these two are the RF transmitters representing as the two zones. So every RF transmitter it has some frequency of transmitting range. So the frequency of transmitting range is around 60 meters and this module. In real time we can use up to 100, 300, 400 based on the antenna power and which we are going to use the frequency of the modulation also. So here we are using frequency modulation is 433 megahertz. So we can go up to 2.4 gigahertz and uh, the data will be processed from this push buttons we already shorted the respective push button so here so you need to press any push button just we need to connect a battery connector here so when we connect a battery uh, connection so at this slot like this then the light is on nothing much the so called zone enabled means it's transmitting some data with a region of 60 meters circle so whenever a particular vehicle enter into this region so here we have the RF receiver. So this vehicle consists of RF receiver and that received data will be decoded by this RF decoder HT12D and the decode data will be given to the microcontroller. So here we are using PIC 16F72 microcontroller and there will be one LED indication it shows us that it enter into some region. So what are the region will be displayed on the LCD screen. And so here we are using two zones. One is uh, school zone and another is H hospital zone. Right. So means when we provide the power supply, so there will be a short circuit V placed predefinedly underneath PCB, the respective pins. So it has a pin of for consider D0, D1, D2, D3. So D0 push button already we place some short circuit underneath PCB. Then the data will be encoded by this HT12E. Encoding purpose HT12E and decoding purpose HT12D. So encode data will be transmitting through this RF transmitter as we discussed the frequency is 433 MHz. So when we on the key on this, this transmitter section the so called region will act as a school zone. Whenever the vehicle enter into this region the receiver will receive the data and indicated that we have at some region entered which is should be speed control region and that will be uh, displayed on the LCD screen and the speed will be regulated directly and the whole system at this receiver end will get the power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp so this battery pack consists of 3 4 volt batteries are connected in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and which is a rechargeable battery so let me explain to the charging procedure so considering coming to the charging procedure there will be a B written here and on this charger this is a charger which will take 230 volts input and provide us the DC voltage because this transformer will convert the 230 to 12 volts AC and with the help of this four diodes we are going to converting that DC to pulsating DC and after this capacitor we will get the uh, pure DC voltage which is sufficient to charge the voltage battery so connect the B to the B here and T to the T so once we switch on the power supply to the circuits then there will be a green light indication over here it's showing the status of the battery is charging right now what is charging it will take at least of 5 to uh, 8 hours maximum time duration is 5 to 8 hours and in the duration it will keep charging and after that time completion you can just unplug this and switch on the power supply to the charger and keep this aside and now coming to the receiver section execution so there I wrote again A so we need to connect the A here, here we wrote the A again, so this is the A, okay. When we connect the A to the A, then the kit entering into the execution mode, right. So when we switch on this power supply to this is, uh, section, automatically the vehicle start moving. So this uh, demonstration purpose, we are not, uh, not going to control the any direction, but we are going to controlling automatically the speed of this particular vehicle by uh, whenever the RF region entered in both communications and the controlling speed will be achieved with the help of this MOSFET circuits. So here you can see the IRF 
Z double four MOSFET circuits, so which will take 12 volts inputs and provide us the uh, 6 to 12. 6 volts is whenever we enter in the region, nothing but the vehicle speed will be off, reduced to off, and when it's not any region, normal zone, then it's go to the high speed, nothing but 12 volts. So this will be controlled with the help of PWM signal that will be achieved from our peak microcontroller. So on this motherboard, so here we are providing 12 volts inputs, but the microcontroller need 5 volts. So in order to regulate the 12 to 5 volts, here we are using 7805 regulator. So after this regulator, we will get 5 volts constant regulator power supply, which is parallelly given to the RF receiver section and microcontroller also, and also LCD. So here we are using uh, two DC motors for the vehicle movements. So just forward movements. And uh, next, that will be interfaced parallelly to the uh, microcontroller through this MOSFET driver. So let us see the demonstration. For demonstration purpose, I'm just placing a object underneath just in order to show you the speed properly. Right. So now, as we discussed, so just connect the A at this A section. Right. So then there will be a welcome message. So now the zone is normal. So the vehicle is ready with the speed. Okay. And whenever we place this S school zone, then for that just connect the connection. So you can see that the motor speed got reduced and also there is a light indication. It shows so okay, we are in under some region. So what is the region displayed on the LCD screen? So we can see that school zone till you passes this region nothing but the system will not receive any data so in real time you can just take this transmitter and move away around of 30 to 40 meters away from this kit so then automatically the system will not receive any data right and now it is normal zone and the vehicle rotates with normal speed and coming to the hospital zone like the same the vehicle entering into the hospital zone so then when it receives the same data then so there we can see the hospital on the LCD screen and also visual indication on the LED and again same when this re vehicle crosses over this hospital region RF transmitter like this then automatically again normal mode. So this is the main useful purpose in uh, any vehicles. So coming to the controlling speed in electrical vehicles just by controlling the voltage we can control the speed of the vehicle. And coming to the normal uh, domestic vehicles or commercial vehicles, there we are going to regulate the uh, accelerator mechanism. Then we need to do some other modifications in the other projects. So this is the project for the electrical vehicles. In real time, we can implement the same thing to the uh, domestic or commercial vehicles of diesel or petrol vehicles. And also we can implement the same thing in two wheelers also. Right.